good morning and welcome to Friday Thoughts, Living Faithfully Together. We're already into the second month of this new year and uh, there's a whole lot that seems to be uncertain. And so I come to you today to talk a little bit about our Lenten season and what we're going to do this year. Pastor Kerry and I were doing some conversation uh, back in December and into January and we were talking about all of the struggles that were going on around the world. We talked about how divided the world was politically and how divided we were even around pandemic issues. And we started talking about, well, what should we do with Lent this year? And the idea said, we need to find something to talk about that's not about what divides us, but what brings us together. And that's sort of what birthed the idea of talking about hope and what hope can mean for all of us. And so I, I wanted to talk with you about that. I remember finding this quote, hope is not wishful thinking, it's not eternal optimism, but a sense of the certainty that is founded in God. So I think someone else suggested that hope exists in that territory between despair and denial. And hope has its eyes open to the problems around us but with a sense of a way forward. If only that way forward is one step at a time. And I think that's kind of where we wanted to go. And as we started thinking about that and found this book um, by Julie Neras called Apprentice to Hope, uh, it began to help us formulate some thoughts. So what we did is we came up with a theme reflected on some cups that we're going to be sending out as part of our uh, Lenten goodie bag and uh, for every, every family that simply says hope changes everything. And if you can't see that logo, I printed it off a little bit larger, but it's the theme for our whole Lenten series. Hope changes everything. And we hope it's something, we really want it to be something that you can focus on. So if you take this mug when you get it, uh, for a cup of coffee in the morning, you'll look at that and it reminds you that hope can change everything. Uh, because I think that's what this is all about, and it's what our world needs right now. Uh, there is enough brokenness, there's enough pain, there's enough chaos um, for so many uh, that we need something to direct our thoughts together. And that's where this comes from. Um, Julie Neras, uh, another author, once wrote, With hope so much is possible, without it so little is. Many people live without explicitly religious faith, and others live without much, if any, love. But people do not survive very long without hope. So we want to invite you into that journey where we're going to explore and try to discover together uh, a little bit more of what hope is all about, some definitions of that. Uh, we're going to talk about a process where we are apprenticed to hope, uh, what is the nature of hope? How does it differ from optimism? We're going to find a way to discuss together in our Lenten series about hope and imagination and how those come together. That helping one another is part of hope's companion. That we all need that from time to time. And that, that hope is a choice. That we can even borrow hope when our own internal sense of hope is diminished or even depleted. Uh, is there a way for us to borrow that from someone else through that helping hand that comes? And certainly the whole of the Lenten story, the whole of our Easter story, the whole of our Christian story is all about a God who never gives up hope in the people that he's created, in you and I. That he created a community where we can live together and discover together what it means to be people who are beloved, who are cherished. It's Barbie, Barbara uh, Kingsolver who once wrote, the very least you can do in your life is to figure out what to hope for. And the most you can do is to live inside that hope. Don't admire it from a distance, but live right in it under its very roof. And I think that's worth thinking about. Spending some time with. That we're going to come together in our Lenten series and we're going to dig in trying to understand that, but more than that, to make it part of the fabric of our existence, our life together, and, uh, and ask ourselves, how can we be nurturing and encouraging of that hopefulness together as a community of faith? 
Uh, one of the favorite verses that I remember uh, memorizing as we were growing up was from 1 Peter 3.15 that simply states, always be ready to give a reason for the hope that is in you. And I long for that, especially in today's world. For us as people of God to be ready in any time or place to give a reason for the hope that exists within us. And last but not least this morning, um, I want to remind you of what my favorite definition of hope by Joan Chittister. It's from a book she wrote entitled Scarred by Struggle but Transformed by Hope. And it's in that book that she wrote, hope is not a matter of waiting for things outside us to get better. It's about getting better on the inside. It's about, it's about what's going on inside. And it's about becoming open to the God of newness. It's about allowing ourselves to let go of the present, to believe in the future that we cannot see, but we can always trust that God is engaged in. So I hope that you will plan to make this journey together a regular part of your week in faith. Uh, we invite you to join into that journey. We will be inviting people, if you have a, a particular story of hope in your life or your family that you would be willing to share, we hope to do some recording of that and share stories of hope from within our congregation. It may be a particular time that you come through a circumstance, a situation um, that hopefulness really got you through and you're willing to share that. Um, we'd like to know that, and we want to be willing to share some of those. Um, you know, there's so much that's going on around us, uh, and I can think sometimes back to some of the precious people that I've known and loved in my life, people that I've been privileged to pastor and serve, people who have died in faith, but they've also been people deeply uh, grounded in hopefulness and who have been willing to share that with others. And it's really made a difference. And they've been nurturers and encouragers along the journey of faith together. Um, that's what we're looking for. And we hope that it'll be a meaningful time. So uh, remember that. And every day as you think about starting that, that day in a new and a fresh way, remember that hope does change everything. And we hope it, our, we trust that our hopefulness in Jesus is what gets us through. So... Uh, our thoughts, our prayers, our blessings for one and all. And we look forward to you being part of this Lenten journey uh, with our whole community of faith as we hope together in Jesus. Uh, blessings to one and all. <laughs>